Sade here and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a random cute and girly haul. I've picked up, I went to a few places the other day and decided just to pick up a few things. Not much because I am on like a no buy challenge. So yeah, let's get right into it. I went to H&M, I went to Walmart, CD Trans, and the beauty supply store and I think Charlotte Rules. So I'm just going to go ahead and start with H&M. I went in there and found these cute, adorable spider earring. Well, the spider earring set comes with a spider ring, the studs, and like the dangling spider webs. I thought it was so cute for a dollar. You can't beat it. And plus, I needed some new jewelry pieces. I also found these. Just have like the button type gold and the crescent moon and then like the little mini um, cute Sigonia, um studs. I needed some new silver earrings because for some reason I didn't have any or I gave them away. But I thought these would be perfect. You guys know I love my stud earrings. Um, I'm not really into like big, big earrings. But I love studs and like dangling pieces. So these were really cute. So I decided to get those as well. And then uh, the last pair that I got were these right here. And these were also a dollar. They're just like some little dangly arrows. And then like these little flat back earrings. So that's what I got. And then I also got this little um, glow highlighter. It looks just like this. I'll take it out of the package so you can see. And it's just a cream highlighter. It looks just like this, and it actually has a seal on it, so I can't wait to use this. I'm like, I've been dying to dig into this, but I had to get this video up for you guys. So, it's just a cream highlighter, and you guys, I'm all about that glow life, so, yeah. And then, um, that was everything that I got from H&M. It wasn't much. And then I went to Charlotte Rouge. I didn't see a lot of stuff in there. But I did see these moisturizing lip masks. And with 24 karat gold, they just look like this. It comes with five in a pack for $5. I thought it was a good buy. And I've been seeing this um, a lot. I've been seeing this like all over the internet, um, on Instagram. I've been seeing like lip mask everywhere so i decided to get these and like i said there were five for five dollars and yeah i can't wait to try these and on the back it says that this gel lip mask will moisturize repair damaged lips infused with collagen vitamins and minerals for lips that feel great and look plump so that's what it says on the back so i'm so excited to use these okay so that's everything from H&M and oh no no actually the last thing that I got from H&M was this cute little like wristlet pouch. It was $3 and it just looks like this. It's pink and girly and so 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 me. I love pink if you guys don't know. In the inside it just has an inside zipper and it has little pockets for like credit cards and stuff like that. This would be perfect for ladies, ladies and guys if you know you're into this or if you're like on the go and you don't want to take that much stuff you can put your lip gloss your keys your credit cards your id in there and money and change and go right out the door so i thought that was really perfect you can also use this as a cute makeup bag so i thought it was really cute and yeah that was really cute and girly so i went to walmart i didn't pick up much things from Walmart. I went there to I guess go get some groceries or whatever because we were having a dinner for my granddad. So um I just picked up a few things that wasn't grocery related. And I seen this cute little sleeping mask. And you guys I hate like when I'm asleep and then somebody cut on the light that really like really really bothers me. So I thought this would be great to get, you know, to go to sleep in. So I want get easily disturbed when I'm asleep so it's really cute it has those little lashes on it and that's so me and then the elastic is like kind of like lace like so I thought it was really cute as well and then I picked up this elf daily hydration moisturizer and they're starting to sell like all of elf um elf's 
like skincare line in Walmart. So when I seen their whole skincare line, I was just like, oh my God, I'm so excited because I've been really trying to keep up with like moisturizing my face and trying to have like a great regimen for my face to clear my skin face oh, excuse me I can't talk because my skin is very very sensitive and I get breakouts a lot not really a lot but well enough okay so this stuff right here after I wash my face and put this on this stuff just has my face looking so moisturized and so healthy and glowing I really love this I use it in the morning time and at night and it's paraben free and it has like mostly all everything in it is like good for your skin so i thought that this would be good i picked it up i love it i'm probably gonna go back and get the day and night cream because i love this stuff it looks like this and the best part about it it has a pump love that and this was eight bucks which is not bad for a daily um hydration moisturizer because everybody needs a nice moisturizer for their face so this is really really good and it smells like a botanical garden like when you put it on your face it just smells like leaves and extracts it smells really really good so got that and then last but not least from walmart i seen that heart candy had new products so i picked this up and it say look pro illuminate and strobing mix-in drops and it's by heart candy and the color is 1120 white pearl it say use alone or mix in products for instant radiance so i thought that was pretty pretty good and this was eight bucks and um they had a lot of my hair keeps getting in my face but they had a lot of new stuff they added a lot of new stuff to the line so when i seen this i was just like okay i need to try that because i'm all about that glow life i'm all about i haven't strobed or anything but i'm about that glow life so anyways i love that and it comes with a little pump so you can just you know pump out as many um it's disperse out as many drops as you need and yeah that's in the bottle it's really really gorgeous and it has a lot of product in it for eight dollars i hope that this will work or you know give you that radiance look that you're looking for um you guys if you want me to do like a first impressions on this let me know in the comments below and i can do that for you so i'm gonna go with the dollar tree next i didn't get many things from the dollar tree either but I did pick up a few items that caught my eye. Um, the first things that I got was this gentle facial scrub. And it's fo foaming face scrub to gently exfoliate for a moisturized and fresh feeling face. It's like I can't even damn talk right now. But it's paraben free. And it looks like this. It's by the brand White Rain. And I've seen these, I've seen these being hauled on YouTube like maybe a year ago and I could never find them and they just like finally got them in my um local Dollar Tree so I picked up one of the facial scrubs and then I have two of the facial cleanser makeup removers so this is the makeup remover and I just use this after I take my makeup off and um just make sure that I get all of the makeup off my face and out of my pores so I got that and then I seen this acne free clear skin treatments it's body clearing acne spray and it just looks like this and you this is a lot of product in here like five ounces for a dollar you can't go wrong this brand is a really kind of expensive brand so to get this at the Dollar Tree for a dollar honey get your life especially if you have body acne I get you guys can't tell, but I get back acne a lot. I don't know if you guys can see, but I get back acne a lot. And I've been using this since I got it. And it has like really, I get bumps a lot, like all on my chest and my back area. And it's not attractive at all. I feel like I can't wear things that show my back or my shoulders because I'm so um 
just kind of insecure about the spots that I have on my back. But this stuff has really been working for me. And like I said, if you can see, I've been using this and it really has kind of been clearing up. You can still see some spots right there, but it really has been clearing up. It did. I had a few little um, acne on my chest and it has really cleared it up for me. So this is a great buy. If you guys are dealing with chest acne or back acne, I suggest you get this at the Dollar Tree for a dollar. Okay. Anyway, I also got the Simply Shea with Organic Shea Butter or Shea Butter, sorry, Deep Moisture Shampoo. So it has Shea Butter in it and it's paraben free. It says it cleanses, moisturizes, and strengthens the hair. And you guys, it smells so freaking good. I mean, so, so good. Okay. And it was a dollar and it's eight fluid ounces in it. And, um, I haven't been keeping you guys up track on um, like what I've been doing, but I have went totally natural. I don't get perms anymore. Well, I don't perm my hair anymore. Um, I'm completely, completely natural. Um, I did do the big chop. This is my hair right here. I did cut my hair really, really, really short. And I just got tired of it breaking off. I got tired of the straggliness and it was a struggle so I gotta sew in just you know to kind of make it grow and so I won't have to bother it but I really been on this natural kick if you guys don't know that um perms have been linked to fibroids and about three or four years ago I did um I was diet well the doctor did tell me that I had a fibroid it almost took my life. That's a whole nother story, but it just made me want to be be aware of what I was putting in my body, what I was putting on my head. And, you know, those type of things can really take toll and have an effect on your body. You know, what you put on your skin, what you put in your hair, you know, those type of things. So I'm just about anything that is natural, okay? Anything that's going to just help me be natural, to help me maintain my natural hair. My hair has gotten to the point where it's really, really curly and thick. And I did have the top part of my hair kind of pressed out just so that... I can have it laid down, but I am completely natural, and I have been natural now for about two and a half, almost three years. So, this is, I can't wait to try this shampoo. And then I got some elastics, you know. I always buy these things all the time. These and bobby pins, for some reason, they all get lost. It's like... Do I have a monster in my house eating this shit up? I have no idea. But um, every time I buy elastics for my hair, for my daughter hair, it's just like they disappear. So I bought another pack because I like to put my hair in a ponytail on my face. So I bought another pack for a dollar. You can't go wrong with that. And then last but not least is a fashion nail file. I thought this was really cute and girly. It has a little case and it has a little nail file with the lips on it and also comes with another one. And sometimes I need to file my nails and I, I sometimes realize that I don't even have a nail file. So I thought that this would be really cute to just toss in my purse. So if I'm out and I need to file my nails randomly, I could do that. So that's all the stuff. From Dollar Tree. And the last place I went to was City Trends. Okay, you guys. Don't sleep on City Trends. Okay, because you can find a lot of good shit in City Trends. Please don't sleep on City Trends. And then I'm saying this is the last, but I also went to the beauty supply store. So hopefully I won't forget to show you guys what's in here. But I'm going to start with City Trends since I picked up that bag first. I found this. It's called Killer Queen, a new fragrance by Katy Perry. And it looks like this. It comes in this nice box. I seen this and they were having like um 15, no, 25% off of all clearance items. As you can see, I got this for $10 plus 25% off. 
You can't beat that. You can't go wrong. But anyways, this whole set, $10. The retail value or the suggested value of this is 59 freaking bucks. The value of this is $79. I got this for $8.25. I'm going to show you what's in the inside. Amazing, okay? So in the inside, it comes with your... Oh my God, look at this bottle. This was made for a queen, okay? It comes with a full-size killer, um, what is this called? Killer Queen perfume. I'm sorry, I had to swallow for some reason. It took so long. But it comes with that, and it's just so adorable. And it just smells so good. I mean, I love this. It has like a distinctive smell to it. I can't really describe it. I'm not good with describing scents, but it's so, like, the packaging is just amazing on this. It can't sit up, but this would look gorgeous in your perfume collection or on your vanity. Like, this is super gorgeous, okay? So, I got that in there. Comes with a little purse size perfume spray, so you don't have to carry around your big, big bottle. That was amazing. So, just looks like this it has like a little queen crown for the top and it's just perfect and I'm just like in love okay and the last thing that it came with which I was so excited for was like this little cute makeup bag or this bag that you can put your products in you can either put this in or you can put makeup in it or you can just do just about anything with this um I was thinking about putting it um keeping it for a makeup bag it has like the gold inside it comes with a zipper and it also comes like with this little strap so if you wanted to strap on some jewelry in there you could i just thought that was so perfect the packaging on this is just killer like it's just gorgeous and it's really small so you could if you had a big purse you could toss this in your purse and keep your makeup goodies in there and it's pretty spacious so I really like that. That was 10 bucks from City Trend. So get your life. But anyways, that was 10 bucks. Um 25% off. It was like eight dollars and some change. So another thing that I found in City Trends were these beauty blenders by my beauty spot. It comes with three beauty sponges for $4.99. And I thought this was a good deal. I love these little sponges that looks like this. If you guys can see. Let's see if I can just take this off. So you won't get in a glare. But they come like this. And they're they're pretty pretty soft. Um, This one reminds me. It's kind of hard. But it's, it's, it's usable. I've bought these before. And they really do a great job blending out your foundation. If that's what you use it for. But my favorite is this one. Because it just gets in the under eyes real good. And it's small. You can use it to blend. It. And then you can turn it around and just dab on your concealer or foundation. It's really good for that. And you can't beat that. Especially if you're like a freelance makeup artist. Which I am. Then these will go perfect in your makeup kit. And I always, I always, no matter how many sponges I buy, I always buy new sponges. Because you can never have enough sponges. You know, sometimes they go bad. Sometimes they end up breaking. Um, I've even had my dog chew up one. So, you can never go wrong with that. And then, I got these cute little puffy stereo earbuds. I think I'm going to get these to my little niece. They just have like little fur on them. These were 99 cents. And that's, yeah. So those were really, really cute. I might even keep them for myself because I just love girly shit. So, but they were really cute. I think I'm going to give them to my niece. So, so that is that. And then I see this um, selfie stick. I am like the last person to be on this selfie stick bandwagon or whatever so um i finally got me a selfie stick i'm really excited and i seen this it's the selfie stick with the built-in shutter release and four led flash 
I thought this was really good. And I've been seeing this little LED um, flash thing that you put on your phone or put on your on top of your camera to just make your pictures and videos more bright. I've been seeing these things like all over YouTube, all over Instagram. And, and I've even seen like some expensive ones, like $20. But I have one right here. And you just stick this in your... Um, your antenna jack or the you know the um, headphone jack and you press this little button and it has three settings so you can make it extra extra bright and this also hooks up to your phone so when you take your phone you put this in and then you put the selfie stick part in this part and you take a picture, and I mean, your pictures can come out bomb. Your pictures will come out bomb as fuck. Okay? If you say so. Anyways, so, I got that, and yeah, that is... A great thing and it comes with the little part that holds your phone and baby this was four bucks and this comes with a charger so you can put this in and charge it up like you cannot beat that you can literally charge it up on the computer so that is bomb and like I said that was four dollars look at that four bucks four bucks get your life go to city trends check them out and I also ended up getting another one. I got this one first before I got the other one. Um, so I think I'm going to give this one to my daughter. And I'm going to keep this one because this one, the um, the um, strap on it was uh, is shorter than this one. This one is pretty, pretty long. Okay. So, yeah, got that. And the last thing I got from City Trends, um, I've been really into, like, um, purse charms, decorating my purse. I know, so weird. But anyways, i seen this. If you've ever heard of the brand Nicole Lee, it's, like, a brand from New York, and they have, like, a lot of cute stuff. Well, they have the fashion show in New York. But anyways, this brand is from Los Angeles. It has the Nicole Lee little emblem on it. And then it's just a cute little tiger, I guess. And his little legs and arms dangle. And it's just so cute. So I thought that this would be a perfect accessory for you to add to your add to your um, purse or your uh, wallet or whatever you want to add to it. This is perfect okay so that's what i got from city trends oh and that was two dollars and 49 cents so you can't beat that and they had plenty of these so you guys check out your local city trends like even if you don't go in there and shop for shoes or clothes go in there and look at their accessories they have everything they have Things from electronics to beauty stuff. I've even seen Maybelline, Rimmel. I've seen all kind of brands in there. This actually, Nicole Lee, is a kind of expensive brand. So to get the little keychain for two forty nine, that was a big deal. To get the um, the Katy Perry perfume set for eight dollars, that was a steal. The selfie stick with the LED light for four bucks. That was a steal. I mean, you guys, you can't go wrong with City Trends. Like, I shop in there all the time. Wallets, purses, keychains, um, makeup. I've gotten lashes out of there. I've gotten a lot of stuff in there. And I'm not afraid to say, look, hey, I shop at the Dollar I mean, I'm the Dollar Tree. No. I shop at City Trends. Like, get your life and go to City Trends, okay? The last thing that I did get, or the last place that I did go, was the beauty supply store. So, let me just say, I end up getting, I've been hearing a lot of things about the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. And 
it just looks like this it has your spoolie and then your brow pencil on the other end this one is in mb okay mbp04 chocolate and i did use it on my brows today i really don't know if i like this or even like this color this particular color because it is a lot browner than I, what i wanted it to be i wanted it to be a little bit darker but not too dark and to me it could be dark but i just feel like it's too light let's just show you what a light stroke looks like this is a light stroke but i don't know how i feel about it i probably will end up I don't know if I get another one because I seen ColourPop came out with a lot of um, the little brow pencils and they are like what six bucks or five bucks. I think I might try those before I try these because this at the um, at the beauty supply house or the beauty store was ten dollars nine ninety nine, which is pretty affordable, but. If you can get something for a more affordable or as a affordable a more affordable alternative, then I would just go with the less um the the less affordable alternative, you know, cuz $10 is a lot for a damn pencil to me in my opinion. This should at least be 6.99, you know. But that's just me, okay? So, um the next thing I got was the Broadway Eyes. This is the strip adhesive. This is just a backup. I love this stuff. It's $1.99 at the Beauty House. I, this is like my favorite black um, lash glue at the moment. I did use um, what I had left over to put on my lashes for the day. This stuff is really good. I like it. I highly recommend it. So if you see it in the Beauty House, pick it up. Okay. Um, the next thing I got was the Absolute New York Afterglow Illuminating 3D Liquid Highlighter. This is in the color Afterglow. But anyways, it is a gorgeous peachy color. Let's just do a little mini swatch. I have it on today. I don't know if you guys can see, but I use it as a base and then I put my original... Um, Highlighter on top, you can't even see, but you can see that shit glow. It's really popping. And it is really, really gorgeous. Like, if you're my skin tone or darker or deeper, oh my god, this would look so bomb on you. This was pretty expensive for this little bitty tube. This was, I believe, $5.99, which to me is not too expensive, but... For this, $5.99. I would have at least, you know, $3.99 would have been even better. But, hey, I bought it anyways. I got a crease brush from the brand Blossom. It's a define and shaping crease brush. It's really cute. Very soft. I haven't used it. This was $2.99. I just seen it and just said, hey, let me get it. So... I got it. It is really, really soft and just will help you blend out those colors in the crease or help you place your colors in the crease. And for $2.99, you can never have too many brushes, especially if you're a makeup artist. I feel like you can never have too many brushes, okay? A few more things, you guys, because I know. I got the LA Colors Cover Pro Concealer. This is the Cover Up Pro Concealer Stick. In the color cafe I really got this to cream contour with but I'm kind of thinking that it might be not the color that I want it to be so it just looks like this hopefully you guys can see it is pretty dark but it's not too too dark it's more like a orange bronzy color so maybe I don't know maybe I can use it to bronze up my face when I'm doing my makeup I don't know but it does blend really good for what it is and this was what like excuse me it was like $1.99 so pick that up 
I also seen this Santi Smoky Eyes Wet Eyeshadow. It doesn't have a color because I took the sticker off the back, but it, it still didn't have a color. Um, this is the color right here. I do have it on my eyes. Of course, you guys cannot see. Hopefully, I can try to come to you with another video. But this thing is is all um, it's like butter. Like I'm not trying to flick you guys off, but it just melts in the skin like freaking butter. You guys have no idea. I used this today for my look, and it is really super gorgeous. It really is, like, super duper gorgeous. And I think that was $2.99 or $1.99, but anyways, for the price, it was good. I don't have any colors like this, so that's why I got this one only. They did have other colors, but I didn't want them, so didn't get them. I got a Nika K. Nika K came out with a new line of matte lipsticks. They look like this. If you guys see these in the beauty house, go get them. These are so good. I really didn't expect for them to be as good as it is. That's why I just got one. But this is the color that I have on my lips. And I have been looking all over the world and back. For a brown shade. It is the same shade on the packaging. It is a matte shade. And this one is called Maroon. You guys. This could be easily a dupe to one of the Kylie Jenner colors. This is so bomb. Like literally so bomb. So that's the color right there. And it is just so gorgeous. And I have, like I said, I have it on my lips today. And it is just super, super bomb. I mean, bomb, okay. So I got that. And then I got a J Cats Beauty Pout Holic lipstick. And this is in the color Shaking My Head. I don't have a color like this at all. This is a gold color, and it is so gorgeous. I even thought about putting it on with what I have on today. I don't know if you can see that, but it almost looks like a highlighter. That's just how popping it is. And it's just a really metallic gold. I don't have a color like this at all. And I think this was $1.99 at the Beauty House. So I got that. And then the last, oh, no, not the last thing, but I got an LA Colors Liquid Makeup Foundation in the color Cappuccino. It's pretty dark. I got this, and this was like $1.99. I got, I love the fact that it has a pump for easy application. It is a little dark, so um, I'm going to have to see, oh, it had a little top on it. I'm going to see if this would be, you know, oh, yeah, perfect. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This probably would be really good for someone, my skin complexion, to cream contour with. Yeah, that would be really good. So I love the fact that it has, like, a little cap on it so you don't have to get it everywhere. So that is, like, fabulous. But it, it is pretty creamy. It is very blendable. Oh, God. It's really blendable. And that's just what it looks like on my hand. Really, really blendable. And you probably could use this because it is a foundation. So anybody this complexion probably could use this as an actual foundation because it's just that good. Like, I like the consistency of it. But I'm going to use it for cream contouring. So I will see how that goes. And then last but not least, you guys, I got the eyebrow gel by the brand Second Love. It comes with a little angle brush. And the um, eyebrow gel is in espresso brown. This was $2.99 at the dollar Um at the Dollar Tree, really. This was $2.99 at the Beauty House. And here's the packaging. And here's what the product looked like. I did get it in a darker color because, like I said, 
my hair is originally a light like brown it's dark it's black and brown how about that it's black but with a hint of brown so i don't go for black brows i never went for black brows but um i hopefully this color will work i don't know how good this thing is it's really creamy though and there's the product right there on my finger so hopefully it won't be too too dark because you know at the beauty supply store once you buy stuff you cannot take it back you're just basically stuck with a product that you can't even use especially if you don't like it so there's the color right there i don't know how i'm gonna feel about it but it does look darker than the um then the NYX pencil, it does look darker. So, we'll try that. And it comes with a cute little angle brush for you to do your brows. Oh, God. But anyways, this is the little angle brush. It's really slim. This won't come off. But anyways, that's everything that I picked up and got. Um... I did purchase a few things, well, a lot of things from Elf. If you guys would like to see, um, like, an Elf haul, I can film an Elf haul for you guys. Because I did pick up a lot of stuff. Um, I did order a lot of stuff from, um, not Elf, an eBay haul. My goodness, where's my mind these days? I did pick up a lot of things from eBay. Excuse me. I did pick up a lot of things from eBay, so if you guys want an eBay haul, please leave in the comments down below, and I will can get everything together and show you what I got from eBay because I found a lot of great things, like great finds for affordable prices. You don't always necessarily have to shop in high-end stores to get the look that you're looking for or to get that type of style that you're looking for, like this watch right here. If you can see this, this watch is actually an item that I got from eBay. And believe it or not, it was like a dollar and eighty two cents. And I love this. It's just pink with like the rose gold accents around it. I love it. So if you guys want me to do an eBay a eBay haul and show you guys the products that I got from eBay, I would love to film a haul for you guys. So rate, comment, and subscribe, and see you guys soon.